Now we will discuss Brody Trendelenburg test. Welcome to our channel Internal Medicine Made Easy, the online learning platform that provides medical education to healthcare professionals and students to improve their clinical skill and help them in their studies, courses, careers and research. First, we have to understand the venous structure of leg. The venous structure of the lower limb may be envisioned as similar to an upside down tree with blood originating in superficial venous capillaries and moving upward and inward through increasingly larger veins on its way towards the heart. This task is accomplished through two vein systems that run parallel to each other. One is the deep vein system that runs within the muscles of the legs and the other is the superficial vein system that runs in the fat layer uh, between the muscle compartments and the skin. The Trendelenburg test or Brody Trendelenburg test is a test which can be carried out as part of a physical examination or clinical research to determine the competency of the valves in the superficial and deep veins of the legs in patients with varicose veins. This technique was originally described in 1846 by Brody and popularized by Trendelenburg in 1891. Technique with the patient in the supine position, the leg is flexed at the hip and raised above heart level. The veins will empty due to gravity. A tourniquet is then applied around the upper thigh to compress the superficial veins, but not too tight as to occlude the deeper veins. The leg is then lowered by asking the patient to stand. Normally, the superficial saphenous vein will fill from below within 30 to 35 seconds uh, as blood uh, from the capillary beds reaches the veins. The release of the compression does not result in rapid filling from above, indicating competence of valves in both the deep and superficial veins. Uh, this is a nil test. In a positive test, the superficial saphenous vein remains collapsed throughout the 30 second period and once the tourniquet is removed, it rapidly fills with blood from above. This indicates that the valves of the superficial saphenous vein are incompetent, but the valves of the deep veins are still intact. In a negative test, with the tourniquet in place, uh, the veins fill within a period of 30 seconds. Upon removal of the tourniquet, increased rate of filling is observed. This indicates that there is valvular incompetence uh, in the deep or communicating veins. If the veins rapidly fill on standing and again as the tourniquet is removed, there is further distension of the veins. The test is doubly positive. This indicates incompetency of the valves of both the superficial and deep veins.